All right then gang, welcome to this series where you're going to learn how to authenticate your Next.js applications with Netlify Identity. Now, before we start, I want to let you know that this is not going to be a complete beginner's course for Next.js. You should already know at least the basics. So if you don't, then definitely check out my Next.js tutorial for beginners. First of all, the link to that is going to be down below in the video description. So my friends, this is a sneak preview of what we're going to be building to demo these different technologies. So it's just a simple games review site. And as you can see, we've got this log in or sign up button right here. And when I click on this, I get a modal and I can log in. So Luigi at the net ninja dot UK and test one, two, three, four log in. And when I do log in, we're going to see that email at the top right here. So now I'm logged into the application. I can also log out now by clicking this log out and then that email goes. And all of this functionality, including this modal pop up right here and the design of this is controlled with Netlify identity. So we don't have to do that much work to get all of this in action. Now, we can also guard page content with Netlify Identity. So if I click on this guides page right here, we go to this page, the guides page, and notice it's prompting me to log in. And that's because this is a protected page. I don't want people that are not logged in to be able to see this page. So if I click on this cross and don't log in, we can see this error message right here. You must be logged in to view this content. Now, if I do log in, Luigi at the netninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four. Once I log in, it's going to show me that content and we can see these guides right here. But the minute I log out again, it's going to hide that content again and it's going to prompt me to log in. So this is how we're guarding content as well using Netlify identity, but also using Netlify serverless functions as well, which we are going to learn about in this series. Now, serverless functions are just functions that run on the cloud. So we make them locally and then we deploy them to Netlify and then we can invoke them from the front end using an API endpoint and Netlify will run that function on the cloud and send us a response. So they're a way to create server side logic without the pains of setting up a server ourselves. And again, we're going to learn much more about them later on and how they work with Netlify identity. Now, to get started with this project, I've created a starter site using Next and I've uploaded that to GitHub at this repo, Next Netlify Identity. Now, the link to this repo is going to be down below in the video description. And the starter site is this branch right here, Lesson 1 Starter. So if we scroll down, I show you how to use this. To use it, we just use npx, then create next app, then whatever your site name is going to be called, then hyphen e to say we're using an example starter site, and then this URL right here, which is just this lesson right here, this branch rather, lesson one starter. So all you need to do is grab all of this dude and copy it, then open up a terminal, navigate to the directory you want to create this project in and paste this in. Then I'm going to go back and I want to change the name of the site so it's not square brackets your site name and I'm going to call this gaming hyphen vibes. So do that, then press enter and this is going to create this starter site for us. All right, so while that's going on, if we head back over to this repo, this also contains all of the different lesson code as well. So if you're in a particular lesson and you want to see the code for that lesson, just navigate to the correct branch. So for example, lesson five, and this is going to show all of the different files and code for that particular lesson. Anyway, hopefully by now this project has installed. Yes, it has. So we need to CD into gaming hyphen vibes and then I'm going to open this up in VS code so I'm going to say code space dot and that opens up this directory in Visual Studio code awesome so this my friends is our starter site so what I'd like to do is just walk you through the setup I've got going on over here and it's just a basic Next.js application. If any of this does go over your head, make sure you check out that Next.js tutorial for beginners. First of all, remember the link to that is going to be down below the video. All right, so if we take a look first of all inside pages, we have our home page right here, index. And the content is very simplistic. We just have a div right here with a class of home. And by the way, the styles are using modules. So we can see inside the styles folder, we have this home module right here. So that's for the index component, the home page. 
and we're using this class home right here and it just gives it some basic styles that have outlined right here so we have an h2 and then a div with a paragraph inside it so very simple so that's the home page if we go over to guides this is the guides page it's eventually where we're going to list all the content that will be protected from unauthenticated users but right now again a very simple component we use a guides module which is down here for the css very very simple styles and then if we go back over here we have a div with that class of guides and then an h2 inside it saying all guides now on top of that we also if we open up the components folder have a navbar now inside the navbar we have a div with a class name of container and by the way the classes i use here are defined inside the global css so not a css module but a global css star sheet so that we can use this anywhere in the site and inside here we import a google font and we have a variable for a color right here and we also have some very basic styles for a few different elements like the nav etc you can take a look at these if you wish to but it's not that impressive i promise you anyway inside the nav bar we have this container then we have a nav right here inside that nav we have an image which is a rupee and that's coming from the public folder right here so that's the image that's the logo if you like and we give that a width and a height and this is using the image component which we import right at the top then we have an h1 for the site title gaming vibes then we have a ul this is for the links and we just have two links at the minute which both use the link component which we also import at the top right here from next so the first one goes to the home page which is the index component and this one to the guides page which is the guides component right here so very simplistic at the bottom or rather not at the bottom of the page but just underneath the nav bar we have a banner and that is just an image using the image component again and it's this banner right here which i'm pretty proud of i quite like that banner all right so that is basically it there's not much to it but what i'd like to do is open up a terminal and i'm going to run this project so we can preview it in a browser just to see what it's like from the start so to do that let's say npm run dev this is going to spin up that local server all right so once that's done let's check this out in a browser i'm going to click on this and hope it opens yep there we go okay so this is the starter site so we have this the home page with the title the logo the banner and this bit of content and then if we go to guides we just see this h2 right here all guides but this nav and the banner stays at the top all right so that's the starter site up and running next up we'll set up our project to work with netlify identity and also deploy our starter site to netlify